Hi, Roy Oppenheim for Oppenheim Law. I want to discuss today NDAs, otherwise known as non-disclosure agreements. And they're used in, in, very, in various contexts. In, in the employment context, they're really confidentiality agreements where you agree that you're not going to divulge confidential information to anyone other than someone in the company or if you're forced by, by, by court order and that you're not going to use that information to go across the street and open another, another company. While you may not have signed a non-compete, you've certainly signed a confidentiality or an NDA that you can't use certain, certain information. The same holds true in, in, in business. When someone is evaluating a business deal, a new real estate project, uh, or listen, maybe considering to acquire the, the business of, of someone else, uh, the two parties are going to sign NDA so that you can't use that information to then compete against them later on. You're going to, you know, if you own an ice cream shop and you want to buy the ice cream shop across the street and they have special recipes, you can't go across the street, say, I'm going to buy you, get their recipes, and then use them in your shop. You would have an NDA and, and, and you'd be in trouble for, for violating uh, that NDA. So uh, NDAs, and, and that's a very simple example, obviously, but, but NDAs are used in, in such a way that someone can't use information that you provide to them to a competitive, to your competitive disadvantage. And so to make sure that that doesn't happen, you need to have solid NDAs. We've been doing them for years and they, they do get negotiated and uh, we'd be glad to help you, especially if you're involved with some sophisticated large transaction, you really need to make sure that, that, you're, that everything's buttoned down before you engage in serious conversations. Thank you, Roy Oppenheim from The Trenches.